Hey guys, I'm Ludixim, or you can call me Hector if you prefer, and um, welcome back to another speed build. So today we are building this cozy coastal cottage. Um, I, I just realized how perfect that title sounds. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, um, now listen, I don't really build cottages. Um, I don't know if you have noticed, but I think this is the second one that I'm doing on my channel, maybe the third. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really do a lot of them. And now, uh, listen, I used to dislike, <laughs> let's put it this way, um, cottages and not, not, not just building them, but like the concept of them. And I think that's because I just couldn't see myself living in one. Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I, I still can see myself living in one. Um, they're not, you know, um, my style of house, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate them. And I have definitely learned to appreciate them uh, because I find them very interesting. Uh, they're usually not super boxy. Um, which I, I actually really love because modern houses or like newer houses tend to be very, very boxy. Yeah, um, same, same thing with like Victorian houses. I mean, I still, I don't think I've ever done a Victorian house on my channel and I don't know when I'm gonna make one. Um, so don't expect one next week, but but I will be making one, let's say, not soon, but one day, <laughs> okay? So I digress. This uh, cottage that we're building today has one bedroom and one bathroom. It has an upstairs, like, loft area, which you can definitely turn into a second bedroom. But I didn't. I made this room into this like multi-purpose room i guess I, I have like a lot of uh i have like easels and this uh flower station thing and the other one that you make candles on <laughs> i don't remember the name the names of those um objects but yeah you you, you get the point and yeah, um, I, I originally I was planning to make this bedroom for like, this room actually, for like an artist uh, and have like easels and like paintings everywhere, but then I quickly realized that it's like, it's like a big room, so that's why I'm saying you can turn it into uh, a, a second bedroom. So I was like, um, it doesn't really make sense to have like a few easels and you know that's it so i added a lot of activities so it's definitely a house for a sim that has like a lot of different skills also i have those um are they like flower beds uh that you can like plan things like outside so yes you can have a multi skilled sim <laughs> living uh in this home so that's uh pretty lovely so for this house so obviously i was very inspired by the newest expansion pack cottage living uh which is coming out in a few days actually when you're watching this video we are a few days away from the release which is very exciting i am excited actually for this expansion pack so question of the video are you getting uh the new expansion pack and if yes um uh, what's your favorite uh feature or object or in general the the thing that you're most looking for and if you're not getting it um i would love to know why like please give some constructive criticism please tell me like what you don't like uh, about the um, about the new 
back uh, where you're not getting it. Maybe it's not, you know, your style. Maybe you don't like this, like, country and cottage living idea. Uh, maybe you don't like the objects. Maybe you don't like, I don't know, the gameplay or the cast. Uh, yeah, just, just let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. As for me, I will get it uh, eventually. <laughs> Um, I usually see. Listen, I I haven't keeping up with um, the news about that expansion pack, um, so I don't lo so I don't know a lot about it. Um, I just I just know the things I've heard on Twitter and you know some articles I've read and stuff, or what the gurus have said and tweeted about it, but. I haven't really, I don't know that much and I tend to be very picky, especially with expansion packs because they're the most expensive ones. So um, I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know if I'm getting, I mean, no, I, I am getting it. I just, I don't know when. Also, I don't really get packs at full price um because um i'm broke <laughs> so you know I, i'm a broke student here like however something that i would like to point out that i didn't like about this pack is uh that they have those like special i guess like three objects that you can unlock or get um if you buy the pack before a certain date and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't agree with that. Um, I I feel like everyone should have a chance to have its like object that expansion pack or every expansion pack has to offer. And it's not like a challenge where you do certain things and therefore you can unlock objects that someone else maybe doesn't have. So I don't really like that idea and it's like usually mobile games do those kinds of things that you um, unlock certain objects if you like buy some things with like your own money. You know how mobile games work. Um, so yeah, I really, really didn't like that. So I hope they never do that again. So um, about the about these cottages that we're building today, because I have barely talked about the build again, and <laughs> what is wrong with me? This was literally my only goal for this for this week's voiceover to talk about the build, and I have already failed. So yay! <laughs> uh, but no, for real though, I love the outside. On the outside, I went with this um, greenish um, blue or bluish green <laughs> color. I I know the name of this color. I just I just can't remember it right now. Um, but I know there is a specific name for this color. Anyway, let me know in the comments what's the name of, the, of that color. Should I Google it right now? No, anyway. So I really love this color and I think it looks really good with like the trees in the background and the like coastal vibe of... And I mean, look at me using colors I never used to use. <laughs> I love doing things out of my comfort zone because one of my goals when I decided to come back to YouTube and to make builds again was to try some different things and some different types of houses and styles and try different colors. So it makes me really happy when I try something new, um, I mean new for me, and it works out. So in the inside, I love uh, the mismatch chairs in the dining area. Also, I love that I've like added like random um, photos and pictures on the walls. Um, it, it gives that like, is it like eclectic? Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong here, but 
yeah i think it gives out like that vibe i i try to go with a mix of beach and forest house i don't know if i accomplished that <laughs> In my opinion, it looks great, and I'm happy with uh, I'm happy with how it looks. So, I hope you really, really like it too. I love how the interior doesn't have a specific color scheme, and I just, you know, I just try different colors, and somehow it all like goes together, and it makes me happy because we don't have a color wheel. And therefore, um, you have to use what the game gives you as far as uh, swatches go. So we're slowly coming to the end of the video. And before I go, I just, I just want to say how grateful I am for all those comments that you left me uh, in my last video, which was my first one after my long break and and your comments really warmed my heart and they helped me uh, keep going and make more videos and build and yeah I'm just I'm just very grateful and thankful for each and every one of you that watch my videos that comment um, like um, whatever you do every one of you is um, appreciated thank you thank you thank you so much thank you for everything so I'm gonna go now but don't leave the video just yet because I have included some uh, screenshots at the end and I guess I'll see you in the comments and in all of my other socials so until next week Take care. Bye, guys.